Hello and welcome to another fantastic episode of Pitch Cafe podcast. Today we have someone very special, very different because he is also a podcaster. My guru, my mentor uh, in podcasting was actually Joe Rogan when I started, but then eventually I moved to Lex Friedman. Lex is more uh, of a techie MIT guy uh, in, into artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning. His journey is similar to my journey in a lot of ways. He has also gone through this whole transformation of reading books and how it changed his life. I have also gone through the same transformation. Welcome Vivek Vivek Dahia who is currently podcasting Sai AI podcast. Welcome to this show Pitch Cafe. Thank you so much Vida. Thank you for inviting me. So uh, you know what's your take on AI being able to create emotions? How far have we gotten there and is this headed in the right direction? A- AI creating emotions? Emeka A M E C A is the first humanoid robot so if you see how she talks or how she blinks her eyes or shows emotions on her face it's precisely you know copying how a human could be yeah exactly so we are getting there the only thing is they are very limited in their approach they are still not there in terms of intelligence their parameters uh, the models that are created for them are very very limited it's still very very tool based but very very intelligent robots i mean the future of it uh, and adding emotions to it i have done some podcasts uh, vida wherein i have also got in touch with artificial general intelligence experts who talk about the fact that creating these chatbots are great but if you want to add consciousness uh, like we have or if you want to create a human like robot what i need to do now is that they will bring these robots who will actually be either sitting next to the patient or to the to the senior all the time and they will remind them they will go in the wings uh, knock on the doors and say hey you have to take your medication there was a movie called the kashmir files which was probably very discussed in the last few months it did do well on the box office it was one of these uh, unforgettable incidents in history about human genocide and uh, directed to a certain sect of people so you know what is your take on the movie and you know what did you feel when that whole thing was going yeah it was a uh, breathtaking uh, the way the movie has got the response vida not just in india but globally tells us that we were the most sleeping community in the world and the problem you know arises about our sleeping and not understanding the genocides that have happened to us for the last 1000 years with hindus he also has a lot of thoughts on spiritual journey of individuals which i also have and most important of all he's an ai geek he he's fascinated with ai and i am also a very fascinated with ai and the latest technologies so we are all in the genre of futurists we imagine world when the way it's going and how it looks 10 years from now when most people cannot but we we want to say it so that it drives other people's imaginations so that way uh, we are kind of buddies here we also have one more common thread running we like to explore hinduism and the scriptures and the ancient wisdom in the uh, ancient egyptian tombs the sunlight triggered a lot of things sunlight is natural and the air and the stone they were triggered by the you know solar cycles and a lot of changes happened within the building because of this and today in dubai they are building zero carbon and uh, fully organic buildings organic for example maybe they put 50 million parameters and created me and they put 50 million parameters and created a variant that is you then are we all in a simulation elon musk says that a lot of influencers are saying that what do you think and so when you see a ramde basanti or when you see movies that are still touching like chak de india it still shows to you which has never been done yet like the act of kabir khan in chak de india isn't true it is uh, some uh, hindu coach uh, running the genocides that have happened to us for the last 1000 years with hindus 
my only mission to life in life uh, right now from a spiritual perspective is that helping my roots come back 